Reap. Can you hear it? Welcome to Relay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Do, do has. You have the time. Do has ships. Wine. Do has ships karak. Do oh, has ships karak. Are we live right now? Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> of course we are. It's the <laughs> intro. That's. You could. He gets weirder, and that's when you can tell when when uh, we go live. Yep. <laughs> why is it, why am I Jakey Bob on this stream right now? <laughs> okay, fine, fine. Oh. <laughs> I like Jakey Bob. I'm, that's a, I'm watching Bob. an ad for uh, uh, the uni. No, just kidding. This is this is that one show that's about hunting Nazis. There's only one of those. Like, <laughs> oh, like the legitimate, like, yeah, 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 yeah. It looks pretty neat. It's good. Hello, everybody. Uh, hello. Welcome, welcome to the show. I like your improvement to Jake's name. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm Jake Poo, and there we go. Yeah. Uh, Steve hello. Mad thank Man you. And thank Edge. you, Stevie. <sighs> thank you very much. Thank you uh, very much, man. Welcome, welcome to the show. We are, uh... We are meat popsicles. We're all, like, in a various state of very sleepy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Eh. Where is that meat popsicle line from? Um... Uh, meat... Yeah. Uh, fifth Element. Is that Fifth Thank Element? You. Uh, apparently, that's what it Google is. says. Yeah. It's a good line. Um, I like meat popsicles. Revenant in Apex Legends uh, calls people skin bags. Oh, yeah, that's another one I downloaded this week, Jake. I redownloaded Apex. Dude, I'll play with you. I will 100% play with you. 100%. So, I, I play that game every day. So, the actual line is, Sir, are you classified as human? Negative. I am a meat popsicle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, the Fifth well, Element play, is an excellent movie. I'll play Apex with you, sir. All right. I there, join there's if you a, like there is a weekend event going on right now where they brought back Season 1 King's Canyon. So that's pretty nice. I saw that. The original Great. map. So I uh, actually know where I'm going. <laughs> I was actually talking about Fifth Element at work this week and kept uh, almost mistaking it in my speech for The Fifth Element, which is a fantastic book by Terry Pratchett. Um, just, oh. just throwing it out there. You know, okay. Fifth Elephant. Hmm. Good book. Fifth Elephant. The Fifth Elephant, yeah. Uh, see, uh, millions of years ago when, when the Discworld formed... The fifth element, uh, there's four ele elephants that hold up the disc world. A fifth <laughs> element um, actually crashed into a region uh, known as Uberwald, which is sort of where the, the vampires and the, the werewolves and such live. Um, and its death created giant fatty deposits uh, that uh, mm. the dwarves uh, mine for fat, for tallow, for candles, and it's extremely lucrative. Mm. And there's this whole, like... Um, yeah, David, I have good a book. question for you, sir. It's a good book. Yeah, are you What's up? excited at all for the uh, the television series that is happening? No, uh, I okay. saw some images of it and it looks horrible. <laughs> uh, I will, I will still reserve judgment until it it shows up, but yeah. it looks nothing at all like. Um guards i'm kind of in i'm kind of the same way about the dune movie because i'm i hold dune very near and dear to my heart so i'm worried about this movie i'm excited for um, uh but, the wheel of time yeah that could be good uh the the dune movie though 
every new piece of news that comes out about it makes me more and more excited. Oh yeah. Because oh, uh, what's 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 the director's name? Dennis something. Rodman. No. Nedry. Starts with a V. Miller. Uh, Dennis Villeneuve. Yeah, he directed easily one of my favorite sci-fi movies of the last ten years, Arrival. So Arrival is the best movie that came out in the 2010s. It, it's <laughs> one of the most phenomenal movies ever to it's have been made. Incredible. Um, and it's very simple. It does not rely on action or special effects. When there is action, it it's like, oh my god. <laughs> um, but yeah. You know what? I I just I'm I'm watching the the chat here and. I just have to interject that the greatest thing about the OK Boomer uh, phrase is that no matter what you say to someone who says OK Boomer, they can just say OK Boomer. <laughs> it's true. OK Boomer. Oh. Uh... Okay. Uh, uh... So as as you is probably... is Matt wait 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 is Mad Max a sci-fi movie? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, Fury Road is going up there, though. I think Arrival is better. But Fury Road is very close. Sci-fi as well, though. Arrival... You know what I... When I when I first saw it, it comes off as distinctly not Hollywood. Yes! Like, yes. Like very strongly not Hollywood Yes. It has very little action. It's really, like, interesting and cerebral and not yeah <laughs> well not i just normally see just marius i i didn't know if it was like like true blue sci-fi i guess like could you count it in the same vein as arrival is what i'm saying that that's what i'm saying they're wildly different movies <laughs> so yeah i mean Dennis Villeneuve did Arrival, and then he did Blade Runner twenty forty nine, and now he's yeah, he did. yeah he did, yeah he did. The have man seen makes neither of those movies. At least, dude, all right, David. At least, yeah, David. Arrival is like exactly your kind of movie. Oh, you need to see that movie. You yeah, love, it. love that movie. It's it's, oh, it's so good. I I can't even describe it. It's it's beautiful, like it. Like it ends in such like a like hope for humanity kind of way. Okay, I like hope that, for humanity. Two people yeah, it's extremely positive. Translate. That's a rival. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, um, so if, so so I never I never last thing on arrival. <laughs> I never. Um, I've never been able like I there's a part there's like a five percent of my brain that wants a tattoo really bad, but I know my indecisiveness could not happen. But the closest I came was getting uh, uh, humanity uh, written in the language of of the boys. Of the boys, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Abbott yeah, and Costello. The tattoo. What? Am I the only one here with a tattoo? Yeah, I don't have one. I don't have one. I thought you've had one, Jake. No, no, I've I've almost gotten one like a million times. I'm I'm close to solidifying a design for one, <clears throat> but I want to I want footage of you getting a tattoo. It, I, it, I, I'm wanna... thinking like the uh, Link in his wolf form with the Triforce Ooh. behind it. That's because Link. that's a pretty good one. Do you mean well, your baby? In <laughs> well, no, no, but but that so to represent. His true story son. true story here yeah um so uh Cass and i we have mac half the time the other half half of the time she's with her dad her dad and his uh girlfriend had a baby right so <laughs> mac's stepmom got a tattoo of her new daughter's name and mac was really really sad because like yeah. not not her name it's it's the other dog and so i've been trying to think of a way that i can include both of them without also being tack so tacky as to get someone's name tattooed on me <laughs> um, yes oh so, good lord yes so 
Link as a wolf from yeah. Zelda covers Link because it's Link, and yeah. Max Max last name is Wolf. Oh, cool! I like it. It would be a tribute to both of them. That's that's my like possibly it. pending someday a... tattoo story. I like it. Do you ever say to Mac, "You look so big, Mac"? Oh man, so often. She's been Big Mac. She's Mac and Cheese. She's. Don't worry. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, we're we're ten minutes in. Uh, we've covered absolutely nothing because, <laughs> because no, no. But this is what happens when there's no news in Star Citizen Land. When they've got nothing for us to show, this is what happens. <laughs> Yeah, totally nothing. <laughs> Look at Eric's face right now. Look at him. He's just very disappointed in you. <laughs> he had to know it was coming. He is correct. Uh... This is what happens when there's no news. Unfortunately for everyone watching, this is also starting... what happens when there I... is news. I'm starting to worry us. that... I'm Eric's starting to frozen? worry that... That Eric is fro Is he actually frozen? I don't know. I can't tell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it's he's frozen, <laughs> but it's perfect. He is frozen because uh, on my Discord, okay. it's the it's the loading thing. Okay, <laughs> but it's perfect. <laughs> Just leave it. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! There he's gone. <laughs> oh no! His computer blue screened. Uh, Here, wait, wait, wait. What can I do? Uh, yeah, we're gonna go to this. Temporarily. I love that Douglas is now Nakara. <laughs> oh. All right, we're we're gonna look at we're gonna look at the the tumbrel driving across the moon surface. <laughs> can I just say? Can I just say that that the planet tech is getting better and better? Look at that. Man. That's amazing. Well, and one of the things they were saying while they were talking about this that I think is is really interesting and and made me sort of think is one they did these really quickly right they did all three of these yeah. moons very fast part of that is there are no landing zones they don't really have to do any special customization for them but also these are it seems the first things that they're doing that are only in planet tech v4 they have no they have nothing no legacy stuff. there's no legacy stuff that has to be brought over and that's that's interesting because I, I hadn't actually thought that like as they move versions there's legacy stuff that they have to stick with so they can't use the full functionality of planets v4 and this is them using that right they're getting there though no because they converted part of the part of the reason why some of the the microtech stuff got delayed is because when v4 came out they also redid all of the the planets and moons in the stanton system so so that that um Oh, hello, Eric. Greetings. And that's why I didn't change the layout. Yeah, yeah, because now it's fixed. Yay! Look at us. Um, but um, uh, it is it is Calliope. I don't care what anybody says. It's pronounced. It's Calliope. Calliope. It's, no, it's Calliope. No, it is not. It's Calliope. Uh, it's Calliope. Welcome back, uh, Nakara. You had a you had Thank a you. blue screen there. Yeah, my yeah. computer just literally. Bye bye. I'm I'm done now. Good sign. <clears throat> Good sign. Yeah. Ah, whatever. It happens. Uh, so um, has experienced this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're uh, we're just watching the uh, the tumbrel driving over. Uh, I'm. Oh, I'm so, so look so good, Eric. Eric, please, please go to the relay, um, uh, uh, Discord in the Star Citizen channel. I am pinning this message because it was so perfect. Okay. This is where your face locked when you yes. disconnected from Discord, <laughs> and it was right when David was saying there was no news or anything to show this week, and it was so perfect. We were, uh, we were we were unclear if you were just holding it. 
That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, we so were. Amazing. I was like, I was like, man, Eric is committing to this bit. <laughs> and, and 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 then and then we get a message saying on my computer blue screen. I was literally saying like, I wonder, I wonder if if his screen's actually just frozen. And turns out it totally was. Oh, that's amazing. Oh my god. Shiver, what do you think so, on these uh, um, these moons? Yeah, Shiver. They ain't no moon, they're celestial objects. <laughs> what if uh, listen, nice. listen, what if what if they make a moon that is actually a space station? But they don't tell anyone? It would that be like to make would, we're that just be like, would that be like season four of the expense? Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> you, you, <laughs> Listen, spoilers for the general public here. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Do you, do you know what it, uh, I'm kind of thinking of? You remember that episode of TNG? Of course you do. Where <laughs> where they um uh Jellico takes over the Enterprise and they yep. go on like a secret mission. Yep. You know? Um Yes. And they go into like that cave and then there's just suddenly a metal door. Mhm. Mm and then there's yep. an entire base in there. That's that's what I'm saying. Yep. Also, the episode of Enterprise, uh, where um, they go to like this Vulcan sanctuary, and the Andorians show up. Mm -hmm. Pajem. And um, yeah, Pajem. Yes. Um, <laughs> and and they go in all these caves, these like ancient shrines, and then there's just a military base down there. I saw this documentary once. Um, th this one dude managed to build this massive, like bigger than a planet, thing that could eat other planets for energy. And it turned out it could actually transform, I suppose, into a giant robot. I want that. Uh huh. <laughs> so, so Metroplex. This is a this this is a documentary. More. Hey, documentary. Unicron. <laughs> oh, it's you. <laughs> yeah, right. I was like. I was like, there's got to be a Transformer, but my brain was only serving me Metroplex. Yeah, I, I like I like when that happens. You like, know? I, know what, I know what I want to say. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think uh, what we're trying to say here as a group through all of this and, and all of this, this talk is that Platinum should make another Transformers game. Uh, no, it's actually that the planets look really pretty. Yes, uh, yeah. also that. The new moons? Yes. Just, oh, Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, also Mega Man. <laughs> These um, all look really good, and they made them in, like, no time flat. Also, they showed a guy, like, power sliding on yes, the uh, surface of the is. ice. Yep. And, like, yeah, okay. Yep. <laughs> I'm here for that. Yes, please. Can we, have, <laughs> can we have drifting competitions in Star Citizen? <laughs> Definitely. Needs to be they a need to get, some, the, they need to get some more ground vehicles, and then yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, totally. We're getting there. We're getting there. They're making them. I, uh, I think someone uh, needs to race in a tonk. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, shoot everybody they, else. They just released the uh, the ballista. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, we oh, have yes, another. We, we have another video that we can we can go. Um, but before we go to that video. I'm going back to the just the four of us because you get our, our ugly mugs for another minute. Because uh, I want to uh -huh. tell a story. Oh, boy. Um, it's not oh, a boy, long story. <laughs> it's not a very long story, but I'm going to draw it out as much as I can uh, with, you know, dramatic pauses and, and some waving of Did my hands. Leave? And everyone's just going to leave, and it's perfect. Um, <laughs> What are you reading? We're giving, sure. we're giving you, we're giving you. Uh, <laughs> oh my! Uh, long story short, I I really wanted to uh, to just download the PTU and walk through the Carrick on stream, but uh, the download was taking too long and it didn't finish, so we can't. That was my story. Um, that's it. Okay. So we're going to watch it instead. 
<laughs> Your attempt or the actual Carrick? Uh, no, the actual Carrick. Oh, that's right then. I can't do my attempt because I, I couldn't finish the download. Look, it's a hangar bay. That's what I thought we were going to watch was your attempts to download it. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's just it going at about 10 megs a second, and I just didn't start it earlier enough. 10 megs a second, eh? So slow. Yo, I don't have that problem anymore. <laughs> oh, man. 100, baby. <laughs> um, there's There's one company here in Ottawa that that you know provides fiber uh for not that much more like about 50 bucks a month more than i'm paying for my current 150 down i'd get fiber mm -hmm. thousand down or whatever yep unfortunately they don't service my area with anything higher than five down oh Ugh. well that's no not useful at all <clears throat> yeah that's the same as at&t and prosper they have fiber lines but in prosper they for some reason just don't and actually it's not even it just in prosper it's in like just my block yeah for some reason they just never installed it it's the same uh, thing here not anymore it's though province to prosper live long yes <laughs> uh now i live in frisco which is like silicon valley 2.0 and uh yeah i want to know more be... about this billiards table can we play yeah. it? Uh, that's the idea. Eventually. Eventually. Because they're all they're all physicalized. They they just need to make pool cues and the animations. Um, it should it should just work. Is is my point? They just have to make the animations for it. Okay, so I guess we should start with. Did have any of you gotten in and tried out the Carrick? Jake? No, because I, I I upgraded it to the Pisces, uh, the extra the super Pisces, and that which is what I'm calling it because it's the same color scheme as the Super Hornet. It's the Super Pisces. <laughs> All right, um, I like it. Super um, Pisces is also Aquaman's name in Greece. Yes. Yep. Really? Super Pisces. No. Huh. Uh, <laughs> is it really? <laughs> are Are you messing with me, Shiver? Yes, he is. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got me there for a second. I was like, I was like, Wait a no, second. it's not. And then he got me. Uh, but yeah, there's a bug right now in the PCUs. If you upgraded your Carrick to also have the Pisces, it does not appear for you. Um, yeah. Uh, Eric? Hi. Hi. Uh, I have the same problem as Jake. I upgraded my uh, my package, and it no longer will allow me to get the Carrick in the game. Well, it will not currently allow me to get the Carrick in the game. Also, uh, the current PTU is buggy as all hell, so that's so, a problem. So here's the thing, though, right? The PTU is very buggy in very certain places, and then I got yep. to this one part of Area 18... And I got 120 frames, and it was the most what? beautiful thing the I've hell? ever seen what? in my life. I was just like, I was like, it, it was like I have lived underwater my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then I emerge from uh, the depth. And then I, then I, I can like, breathe. Wow. <laughs> That's Shiver, amazing. how about you? Did you uh, have you hopped into a Carrick yet? I've only been awake an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a Carrick, Shiver? Oh yeah, I got the expiration package, so mine should spawn. Oh, do you have the excellent? Did you upgrade it though? No. Okay. Then yeah, Honestly, you should be able to spawn it. I really hope they fix the spawning problem by the time it gets to life. I uh, I'm it, not actually it, sure because I don't own a Carrick. But I figure the, that because I own an Endeavor, I should, should get, get one as a loaner. You should. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they they did confirm on Spectrum, I believe, that it's a bug. And they had it working, but for some reason now it's not. It was basi basically the, the loaner system 
code. I, I really want working. to get in a Carrick <clears throat> and take off and, and hopefully stream all this and, you know, stream yeah. the, the Same. glorious rising of the Carrick. Yeah. And like the- take it to a moon and just full throttle straight into the moon face. Yo, there's a white Carrick skin coming. Did oh, not yeah? know this. Allegedly. Oh, He's got a bit more privilege than a normal one. <laughs> oh, boy. No. If so, I... It's gonna be I one of those it. shows. If, if, if so, if they That's are... That's every show, it, Eric. I do want it because then it will match my, um, my Star Runner. Okay, okay. Let's let's get to the actual nitty gritty. What are your thoughts of the interior? We're seeing like the interior. I like it a lot because it, it's it's a little Spartan, but it looks lived in. You know. Really like the med bay. I like I liked all the plants there and the cupboards and stuff. That's really cool. Listen, the mess hall is halfway between the Rossies and the Serenities, so that makes me yep. happy. <laughs> It's it's a it's clean the, serenities. <laughs> it's the it's the aesthetic of the Rossinante with the size and functionality of the Serenity. I really wonder what kind of gameplay they're gonna have a, have for us in bathrooms because they're everywhere. <laughs> Give me, let me pee and poop. Just let me do it. Let me pee and poop. Uh, Death Stranding did it. Shower. It. Yeah. The Death Stranding let you do it, and you turn your pee and poop into grenades. Okay, I don't, I don't think you need to turn the pee and the poop into grenades, but legitimately, just gonna yeah, walk let in us go to the bathroom there with the mouse like that. Star Citizen needs to do just shaking off. Star Citizen needs to do one thing, and that's accurately simulate the amount of toilet paper you have left on the roll. <laughs> Nah, dude, high-powered bidets. <laughs> the I future, think man. That they have three shells. There's no toilet paper here. Just three shells. Just three shells. Wow. One up, one down, one to polish up. So I, I, I like that the Carrick seems to have, like, probably three entirely different aesthetics. The, yeah, like the the crew the crew area is really clean and white and sleek, and then the under stuff is is a lot more utilitarian. Um, I like it. It's it, the inside looks pretty good. Like that that it's right very there. Clearly a military ship. That tunnel is utilitarian. It's not trying yeah. to look pretty, right? Um, but it's comfy where it counts. Yeah. All all Literally I gotta say is turrets I'm pretty. so happy that they kept the turrets the way they were and did, just made them better because I was like, man, the the extending orb turrets, that's just straight out of Star Wars and that makes me happy. So, <laughs> so good. Yeah. The Republic gunships, man, they had those bubble turrets. I like this big star map lasers. room. I hope, I hope uh when things get more developed that this room becomes yes so so that's that's what um that's what jared was saying was that the like the stellar cartography mechanic that was a stretch goal kickstarter stretch goal Mm -hmm. um it's going to be done completely from that room it's going to give you way way more detail than than um than any normal star map Mm -hmm. And that'd be the same as the with the uh, module you can add onto the Endeavor for like, yep. uh, yeah, yeah, yes. same, the huge telescope thing. Yeah, yeah. same thing, except what bigger. What about the blast shields on the cockpit? Are they in or out? I haven't heard anything. I don't remember. Does they, anybody know in the chat? They touched on them recently, but I don't think we've seen them since they, they started showing it in the game game. Coming coming soon. soon? Oh, they, they're just not functional, but they're still on the ship. I know that they were particularly hard to do because the way that they're originally designed was a giant pain in the ass. Uh... Anybody? Um, so Coffee Gaming's going to invade everyone's character, turn the toilet paper backwards, <gasps> and he's going to be called <gasps> the TP Bandit. 
but that's beards are cool, mullets white. are not. Beards did, are cool, mullets are not. Did you know that there is actually a proper direction for the toilet paper? Uh, probably. Can I quickly... It's, it's, in, it's in the original I... patent for toilet paper. Yes, okay. Um, Sorry. Uh, Go ahead, you, Nikara. Ghost. Yes, thank you, Ghost. As uh, a note, the retractable cockpit cover and extendable antenna will not be functional for 3.8.2 and will be updated later. Yeah. There you go. All right. Buttons, not, no worky. I'm cool with it. That's I mean, fine. As long it's as not like all the, literally all of the ships are like that in the game. It's <laughs> yes, not like the med are. bay works or there's anything you can actually do in the kitchen. Or The like, med bay works. It's not like the reclaimer reclaims. The med bay has the new... Um, the new features that the the cutlass red does oh really okay yeah but it's still pretty basic yeah they because so eventually um they're it's going to be two different tiers of it so the mm -hmm. the cutlass red is going to be like the the base tier med bay and the carrick is supposed to be one one level up there that. there are three tiers and then there not the endeavor is going to be, would be a tier three you're just, you just want to, to rub your Endeavor and, well, and be like, oh, Well, yeah, yeah because it's Endeavor. the best ship in the to game and everything else is trash. To be <laughs> fair, the Endeavor is supposed to be a flying hospital in certain yeah. configurations. Basically so. the same as the as planet side hospitals. Yeah. It's a flying hospital or a flying farm or a flying research station. It's a flying everything. It's the greatest ship yeah. in the game. Swiss yep. Army knife ship. Which also means it's not coming out till 2025. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah. so far away. <laughs> it's Squadron so far. Gonna be out. <laughs> you know what? There, there is one good thing about that. It means that from now until when the Endeavor finally comes out, <laughs> I should get to try every single ship as yeah. like, as yeah, like totally every every bigger lot. ship yeah. I will get as a loner until the Endeavor <laughs> comes out. <laughs> like when the when the Idris launches, I better get an Idris as a loner because it's the closest thing to the that. Endeavor. Wow. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Good lord. Wait, did someone say the Endeavor's ugly? Ghost. Uh, yeah, the ghosted. En the Endeavor is purposely ugly, but I would say the front of the ship, like the actual ship part, is beautiful. Beautiful. But the re the rest of it is ugly because it's pure function. It's it's, it's a modules. giant spindle. Yeah. Also, yeah. we haven't let's let's also remember we haven't seen the endeavor in what like oh, yeah. three or <laughs> four gonna, years yeah. now. It's not gonna look anything like it did in the concepts. <laughs> it's gonna be completely different and four times the size when they finally launch it. Dude, I think so. So the prowler's coming in like a patch. Which yeah. I never thought I'd I'd be able to say in my lifetime, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, besides that ship, I think the ship that I'm most excited for, um, other than the Star Runner, but that's gonna be like like any other ship, pretty much like a Connie, um, is the hulls. I'm yeah. really excited for the hull. All the, it, the I want to see those misc spinlies because all those ships got those spinlies. <laughs> The hulls are going to be, and I mean, they got to nail that too, because as they said, the hulls are probably going to be the like backbone of the economy. Yeah. Yep. There'll be, there's going to be tons of them. Yeah. So it can't be like, they can't be like incredibly resource intensive for the game to actually be able to the use. The Orion is also going to have pretty much the same kind of tech that needs Similar. it. Similar. Yeah. That needs it. Well, like they'll probably use a, like a base, like base technology, and then flesh it out for either manufacturer. Um, because you need you need cargo boxes to go on spindlies. So I, I do want to say one thing about the Carrick. So I have I, I've hated on the Carrick for a long time, and I'm going to continue to hate on the Carrick because uh, it's a middling ship that gets way <laughs> too much love for what it is. That said, that said, it is a good looking ship. Yes, they nailed it. They, they've, think... they've really nailed it, but I, I, the point that I really want to make here is I think one of the reasons that they've nailed the Carrick is because it came late. Because yes. it's taken yeah. them so long to do, they were able to do it right. And you're going to see, like, there's, there's all these ships that people want so badly, and they're clamoring so much for things like the Merchantman. And it's like, be happy 
that it's taking long because when it takes time, you get something like the Carrick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it looks good, you know? Um, I just wanted to touch on uh, the them pointing out specifically about the cargo pods um, being designed so that they can be detached from the ship mm. and dropped and left behind. Uh, that's really cool. And um, Let us yeah. do it with vehicles, CIG. Let us slap <laughs> a ground vehicle on there. Yeah, and just like drop it from orbit. Yes. <laughs> oh. Poor guys could be standing on the ground going, I don't care. I don't care if it's me. not a ship. That's fine. Let me put like three Ursas down there. That would be That's so cool. hilarious. But yeah, uh, seriously though, Jake, can you imagine the guy on the surface who's like, oh, ah, and then like smacks him in the back of the head? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was about what to say. What if you something. just load one with like volatile explosives and then drop I... it? Oh, I forget what I was going to say. I'm sorry. Something about the Carrick. So I was going to say something while, while Jake's thinking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> largely based on questions because we only have one. And it's from... <gasps> oh, is I the bot like, working? I, I think it's like... Uh, it is, I think. Yeah. It, it looks like some kind of a fox in a envelope. I really can't tell. Um, and it says, when's the show go live? That's a good question. <laughs> don't know man no freaking clue lie? i don't know are you sure this isn't pre-recorded <laughs> uh but oh. because because we At have the time of recording it was live oh. that's a fair point um because we have no questions i'm going to talk about something else that's very near and dear to my heart right now because i can oh god I watched the Animal Crossing Nintendo Direct. Yes! And I am really excited. Hi. Really excited Animal for Crossing. Animal Crossing, guys. Um, like, oh, you dear. get to pick your island, Listen. and then you get to put your tent where you want, and then you get you to, get like, to terraform, deform, terraform island. the friggin' island. You can be like, no, I want, I want a waterfall here, and you can do that. I'm so yeah. stoked. I'm I'm literally considering buying a, a second Switch for the house so that Cass and I can play at the same time. I'm yeah. so hyped for Animal Crossing. Uh, you and guys should watch the Animal Crossing Nintendo Direct. Uh, it's going to be real it's good. It's freaking cool. It's going to be real good. So what you're telling me is I need to get a Switch. You need it. Well, you do. You, you need to get a Switch, but that's not the only reason you should get a Switch. I know. There's many, many reasons, reasons for getting a Switch. Um, I was gonna say, oh yeah, and we've got like under forty days until Bannerlord. Are you sure? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Nobody it's happening. Knows. March thirty first. It's happening. How much is Listen. a Nintendo Switch for you, Eris? For me, uh, two hundred and fifty Canadian. Oh, for, for, a, for a Switch Lite. For a Switch Lite. For the Two hundred and fifty Canadian. Yeah. It's is it three fifty for the regular switch? It's four hundred. It's four hundred bucks. Um, switch Lite is is a good choice, but man, that's not a switch though. Sure it is. They should call it. They should call it something else. It doesn't switch. It yeah, plays the same games. Uh, yeah. They should call it. But it doesn't switch. A Nintendo Portable. There you go. So how how much was a regular switch? A regular switch is like three hundred and ninety dollars. Actually, cheaper in Canada than here. What really? That's uh, in the U.S. It's two ninety nine U.S. dollars. Oh man, that's way cheaper in U.S. dollars. I just buy yeah, one there, not. isn't it? Uh -huh. Three hundred U.S. is about three eighty Canadian. Oh yeah, it's three hundred and ninety six. It's actually cheaper in Canada because it's oh, three eighty three on Amazon right now. Oh, cool! Cheaper in Canada. Holy crap! That's the first time oh, that's ever that's happened. Ever. Yeah, it doesn't happen. It really doesn't. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm considering getting a, a second Switch so that I can play uh, Animal Crossing. 
uh, because I really want to get that's where my life is right now. <laughs> uh, Switch, the Switch is the best place to play indie games, especially like turn-based stuff. It's really nice. Pokemon, Pokemon, Zelda. Uh, yeah, Breath Fuck. of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. One of the best oh. games ever made. Seriously. Uh, okay, uh, we've got two. We've got one additional question. It's from Fastcart. Hi, Fastcart. Uh, it says, uh, "Can we get Nakara's frozen picture as a new emote?" Uh, done. <laughs> I don't well, have Photoshop. Easy. Can somebody Photoshop just his head? Look I pinned me. it. I pinned it to the channel. There, Jake will make it happen. I'll um, make it happen if somebody photoshops it. If somebody photoshops it, <laughs> I will make it an emote. Microwave I do attack. Not have Photoshop. Nor do I want to pay for it. Nor do I want to pirate it. Uh, get uh something else. There's other like free things yeah. that are Photoshop likes. Right? Also, I'm lazy. That's the fourth reason. Um. So, Somebody Photoshop that for me, and it will be an emote. Guaranteed. Okay, so Dirk has a question. Do you think that the staggered ship release throughout their designated patch cycle is a good system going forward? I think he's basically asking, so the Carrick was supposed to come in 3.8, but it's coming in 3.8.2. Like, it's, it's staggering the ships between... So the ships can launch in the middle of patches rather than at the yeah the big number yeah the big number uh, I I think it's I think it's actually a really promising thing that they're doing it's something that we we talked about way back when um, way back when they first said that they were working on an incremental patcher yeah. We talked about how important it was going to be for them to be able to do things like this, for them to be able to add additional things as and when they're ready. Yeah. And this is what they're showing us. Like we, we said how important this exactly was going to be. And it's great because otherwise the Carrick wouldn't be until 3.9 because it wasn't ready for 3.8, right? Like we'd have to wait another three months for the Carrick and getting most, it now is uh, good. Most live service video games... Um do exactly that apex for example um apex does a major major patch every two months but they do um balance updates and like small incremental things like every three weeks so okay. it's a little bit more accelerated for them but yeah. for start, it, the concept is the same so mm -hmm. i i like it That's it. We've got no other questions, guys. Yeah. People ask us questions. Uh, in the meantime, I would like to discuss uh, some things that have popped up onto the roadmap. Mm. Oh, yeah. 4.1's on there. Do A up. little bit of 4.1 is on yeah, there. Yeah, it's like four things. <laughs> um, so, one of the things that I like that's on there now, missile operator mode. Missiles, yeah. will, missile, missiles will now be controlled under a dedicated missile operator mode, which gives players the option to select and fire missiles while operating in ships, such as the Vanguard, which allow for different types of missiles and torpedoes. Yep. Yeah, okay. So you can do it as a pilot, but you don't get the choice of which missiles you fire. Whereas with, or you can, but it takes a while because you have to go into the thing and unpower the thing and do all the things. Ugh. But what if you just had a guy that could just click on which one to fire and then fire it? Fire yeah. the big one. Fire, fire, the, big the, one. fire the big one. Um, so something I want to I wanna call out because I, I think it's funny. Um, object push and pull is once again on the roadmap. Yep. It has been on the roadmap maybe 77 times yeah. um <laughs> it's pulled back. in and pushed out <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> um yeah i hope to someday actually see it in the game oh <laughs> uh, i guess it must be in their plans if they keep bringing it back onto the roadmap but it never seems to actually get done <laughs> Ba, 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 ba. 
So the other things added uh, realistic weapon handling for FPS. All right. Um, There's so one that's... 4.0 that's pretty significant that got added. What's that? I think it's 4.0, maybe. Where's the roadmap? Uh... Shiver, did you just do this? <laughs> yes. Shiver. Oh. All right. I love it. That is, that is fast. All right, hold on. Let me pull up the roadmap. Where, where's does does anybody have the link to the? Uh, I can send it to you. The guy that ha that does all the changes. Uh, oh, no, I found it. I found it. Here's yeah. the roadmap. All right. It is. Oh, maybe it wasn't. What is? Oh, was it already there? It was new to me. Uh, server to client, actor networking rework. Yes. Um, yeah, it was already there, but... It's going to make it so that we don't get the people who just vibrate and then suddenly you are dead. <laughs> you know? <laughs> they come up to you and they stop. And then they're just <sighs> right up in your face. And they're just like, ah! <sighs> and then you're dead. <laughs> Star Citizen is a horror game right now, is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, that is what you're saying. Um, so the description on server to client uh, improvements to the downstream part of the actor net networking responsible for communicating actor state from the server down to the clients. This will improve positioning and movement of other players and NPCs on your client with improved dead reckoning helping to reduce perceived lag and instances of rubber banding. Yeah. Better. Better things. Also, also the, the NPC scheduler is getting added at the same time, which is going to help with NPCs quite a bit, I think. Yep. <clears throat> oh, hey, David, you going to, are you going to CizenCon? I don't know yet. We're, we're working things out he's working things i would um, like to um i'm taking the familia yeah and we're gonna go to uh disneyland also that's so there's a lot of discussion about cast really wants to go to disneyland and also the harry potter land and is that in california there is one in california but it's not as good as the one in florida yeah. Um, Universal Studios. Yeah. Right. Th there's some there's some discussion about whether we all go to Citizen Con and do both, or whether we go to Florida and I don't know about Citizen. Like there there's there are discussions happening. Is is the way it is. I see. But, well, we're all going to. Disneyland I'm going in for the big Star Wars. I, I want to go. Uh, the only problem that I have right now with that is Mac has decided that she wants to build uh, lightsabers for all of us. That's $800. I know. <laughs> you could have her do one at a time, and then you have an excuse to go back. It's a it's so – I'm not sure. Like, it's a, it's a long way away, Jake. It's, yeah. well, it's no, better no. it's better to do eight so at they, a time than to fly a second time okay no or, or do two at a time so that way you have an excuse to go to florida uh we're, we're probably gonna do like the idea is so mac is eight and link is zero yeah. by the time link is like eight or ten mac's not gonna want to go again we have to go, there you go while mac is at the right age and then yeah. we have to go again while link see, is at the right age see See, you don't know that. I went to Disneyland when I was 15. I had a great time. She might. She might be one of the, those 15-year-olds yeah, that goes and loves Disneyland. it. <laughs> but she might be one of those teenagers that, like, hates everything and doesn't want to go anywhere, you know? There's it's there's awesome. two types. Yeah. Oh, there's more than two, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I, I like to do things if I liked those things. 
Yeah, some teenagers don't. It de- it depends on friends a lot. I find like <clears throat> who they end up with. What does Chandler like Bing Ross. have to do with this? Thank <laughs> you very much, Shiver. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Just sometimes I wonder about a lot. It's like I'm always stuck in second gear. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. <sighs> okay, do we have any? Yes. Okay. That's just like the central perk of the job, Harris. <laughs> um. Okay. Existential crisis number nine. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> The number of crises I'm having lately, I'm just, I want to just sleep for the next 20 (laughs) years until both of the kids are gone and I can play VR in my, like, you submerge yourself in fluid and it moves you VR. (laughs) Yeah. No, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> not t- not gonna not gonna touch that um, one, Shiver. Nope, that one's definitely over the terms David. of service. <laughs> David. Yeah. You so, have Disney Plus up there. Yeah. Had it since launch day. Cl- Clone Wars is out. I know. The first episode is. I know. I haven't gotten yes. I haven't gotten Mac into Clone Wars yet. We uh Did you finish your movie saga? See, here's the problem. We finished yeah. all of Star Wars. We finished wow. The Mandalorian. She cried the entire end of Mandalorian. Oh, just, it's just beautiful. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Yeah, but how do you deal with an 8-year-old that's just sitting there watching the robot step into the lava and just bawling? Yeah. Like just and I can't even help because <laughs> I'm crying too. Yeah, it's very sad. Did you give like a little thumbs up as he went in as well? <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. We've we've moved listen. on. We've moved on so to the I'm Hobbit. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say what happens after that. But all you, what happens at the very end of Mandalorian. But tell her, hey, there's a show out there where you can find out all about it, where it came from, what it is, the implications. Yeah. You know? I know. I've watched it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Coffee Gaming, you are in for a treat, good sir. Uh, okay. I will Pro be right t- back. Pro t- okay. While, while David is coming back, Star Wars talk time. Coffee, I, I'm going to need you to just quit watching clone wars and pull up this list hold on clone wars chronological there we go putting in the chat for you um so cartoon network bless their hearts uh decided to release episodes of clone wars as the production studio finished them uh, which means they finished them in the order of like hey we're gonna make like 10 episodes about this environment and this place and then we're going to move on so that way it's cheaper and faster. But they just aired them in that order, and it makes no sense. So please go to it, – it's like what happened with Firefly yeah. on Fox, you know? Same thing. Freaking so, tragedy. No, no. I, okay, Coffee, trust me. Go to go here, and if you've seen the episode before, just skip it. Just, like, refresh your memory on it, what happens. But watch it in this order because it makes so much more sense um trust me and you will have a great time this is coming from me i'm the big star wars man i am the big star wars man (laughs) ghost oh no ghost you didn't know oh ghost this poor man okay um and then and then after you are done coffee please watch uh please watch rebels it is it is the hi- the highest highs of the insanity of Star Wars. So please watch that show. It is amazing. Link's like, oh, for fuck's sake again. Link's got like the Mark Hoppus hair going on. Damn straight. Yeah, I like, I like the hair. <laughs> Look at that pretty boy. Soon, pretty soon he can take over for you on this podcast. Oh, yep. any day. 
He's yeah. probably got mm-hmm. more to say about Star Citizen than I do at this point. <laughs> Alright, people, more questions. <laughs> hey, while we're waiting for more questions, if anybody could have any color of lightsaber, what color would you have? Purple. Plaid. Silver, like the waters of Coruscant. Yeah. What about you, Jakey Poo? Um, I do like silver lightsabers a whole lot. They're very <laughs> cool. Um, uh, for me, it's indigo. Uh, so darker blue than movie blue. Did, okay. did you guys answer Nascavian's uh, questions? Not yet. Oh, no. um, I was kind of hoping to build up some questions. Yeah. It's not happening today. No one's got any <clears throat> questions. Um, I do uh, like I do like yellow. Ghost's idea of a clear um, <laughs> lightsaber. I mean, the the silver <laughs> ones are basically that. <laughs> They're just really white. yeah. Um, the black uh, ones canonical. S- yes. All right, silver and black. Yes. Very um, Kingdom right. Hearts of you. <laughs> like oh, <okay>. yeah. <laughs> Here, I'll show you, Shiver. You... Rocks. So, Nescavian asks, given the Carrick is the worst ship, why is the Aurora LX better? There well, are so many reasons. Leather seats. Yeah, there you go. Accessibility. Uh, also, also oh, LX yeah. just yeah, sounds yeah. cool. Uh, price. I can afford an Aurora. Everyone oh, yeah, can afford point. an Aurora. And you know what? There's there's that little bit of nostalgia as well, because you know that everyone's first ship was, in fact, an Aurora. And, you know, you never get that first ship feeling back. Yeah, 300i. I was, yeah, my first ship was 315p. I mean, mine was a freelancer, but shut up. Uh, my, mine's the bang stang, boys. I love that bang <laughs> The bang stang. stang. That nice. just shows that just shows how late you were to the party, Jake. <laughs> yeah, right. I was. No, I pledged in 2014 when the bang stang came out. That was uh, oh, Star wow. Citizen Alpha 1.0. I would love it. I, I really want someday to be playing in Star Citizen and reference the bang stang and have some new player go, what the hell is a bang stang? <laughs> It would be like, so, let me take you on a journey. <laughs> uh, what's the like next one Like 11 years ago. <laughs> uh, oh, Wait, long, long time ago you. in a galaxy far away. All right. Now, Scavian um, also asks, does Relay think that Salvage will be out this year or next or next or next? Uh, probably Definitely one of those. <laughs> Definitely one of those. Um, I'm gonna say this here. Finally, also, also, shiver. <laughs> to answer your question, yes. Oh, that's freaking cool. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I feel like we've got a lot of time left in this year. We're only February. I'm gonna say this year. I think I. I this feels like a good year for Star Citizen for me. I don't know. I'm feeling slightly optimistic, I guess. It wasn't Salvage due in one of the earlier patches, and then they went like, Several no. times. Yeah. So it's, it's not outside the realm of possibility. It's been in work for like two years now. Yeah. So. Hey, I'm sure it, they're going to eventually just go, yeah, we've been working on it for a long time. Here it is. Enjoy. <laughs> I don't know what um, he's watching me the world <laughs> no like he's he's looking up oh it's the lights that go on and off when i talk on my uh my my preamp <laughs> like oh There's what's going on right? that? uh smiley face says chug beer for subs i i i would if i had any more beer i am legitimately out of beer in this entire house right now and uh, let me just tell you, you have no idea how sad that makes me. Um, if any of you are uh, near a <laughs> Flix brew house, they got some really good seasonal be- beers right now. Link's little one, not the big one. <laughs> it's just it's just a family <laughs> meetup today. Everybody's here. <laughs> oh, my. Are we having Jakey one then? Poo? 
Are we gonna do that? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hi, Cass. Did she just hit you? It's me. It's that. me, Jakey Poo. <laughs> It's Jakey Poo. It's Jakey Poo. Who's that? She is it's Poo. Jakey Poo. See, now Cass is only going to call me this from now until I die. <laughs> yep. Yep. Forever. Yep. I asked, I asked Taco, are we going to get one then? And she hit me and said, that's sexual harassment. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sh she's not wrong. <laughs> Don't encourage her. I want to know where she learned that word from. You? <laughs> Link is very interested in the microphone, and I kind of want to let him eat it. Uh, eat the whole microphone? Yeah. He can't chew on that. He's got no teeth. <laughs> Love that that's how you, where you focus on that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Jake. Yeah. This one's directed at you. Okay. Some new player asks, what the hell is a bank thing? <laughs> uh, oh, it's the Mustang Beta, because it looks like a trailer that, that you would park in a secluded area and have uh, th the fun times in. So exactly. uh, uh, this this is credited to Mr. Paul, the Astropub Shelly. Uh, he, he coined the term the bang thing. At least I think it was him. That's where I got it from. Hey, I'm happy to give him credit. It's the Mustang Beta, the specifically the Mustang Beta. You want to come and say hello to the baby again? Okay. <laughs> uh, just so everyone knows, this is this is like literally all I care about anymore. Yeah, that's what happens. The Banks thing? Wow. No, this this thing. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's amazing, hey. All right, <laughs> what, else, what else we got? It's nuts. Like. It's nuts. Um, right, is it nuts or is it no, like baby's got more hair than me. Yes. Baby uh, does have more hair than you. Yeah. Sorry, Shiver. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I have the uh, most. It's Shiver, still. Shiver I got old. Fuck off. It's still. Blonde, I have a lot too. My hair is getting long. Everybody, it's 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 <laughs> now it's Jake. It's, it's, <laughs> uh, no, it, it's oh, it's kind of strange. The problem. It's quantity. So, and Jake, you can probably help me confirm this, but, like, look at me. I've, I've got uh -huh. brown brown eyes and brown hair, and yeah. I named this guy, we named this guy Link. Yeah. And that's a cat. Knocking down. Hello, head. cat. Yeah. Um, Hi, cat. And somehow, he's come out with blue eyes and blonde hair. Uh, both of those will probably change. Which he is Link. Blessed by the Nintendo he was, gods. He was, he was blessed <laughs> by the Nintendo really gods. Yes. The Nintendo it, gods have blessed him. <laughs> yeah. Somehow. Somehow. But uh, I had... Like, I Iwata-san had... Iwata uh, uh, came from beyond the grave. <laughs> <laughs> oh. and, and blessed if, him. If I recall correctly, I think I had blonde hair too when I was baby. And... Uh, all right, turned out almost black. So you're not gonna believe this, but <laughs> I had like dark brown skin when I was born. Oh wow! Yeah, Ooh. cause I I am half Hispanic on my mom's side. My mom really is, uh, Hispanic. Funny yeah. story, Jake. So did wow. I. Yeah, I was like dark. Uh, okay, and then, so and we, then we... my dad's genes took over. And <laughs> became pale as we got a we got a good question here from Myth. Myth. Myth, who asks, what is your honest opinion on Star Citizen's obvious lack of real sustainable gameplay loops and what the big blockers might be? Uh, they're being made, for one. We don't have an economy yet, so it, it needs that in order to have a gameplay loop. And the blockers are, it's hard to make video games, so it's taking a long time. Uh, yeah... Really, I think a lot of like the pieces are probably done, um, but I think the underlying tech and getting like, it to the, work together the back end, is a problem. Yeah, the back end probably just isn't there yet. Yeah, um, hundred percent. We especially we've like when you can, when you see. Sorry, go ahead. I'm just I was just gonna say like we've been seeing a lot this spring in particular that games take a lot longer than people might think. How many things were just delayed, and yeah, how many more uh, things are gonna keep being delayed? <laughs> Um, Doom was supposed to come out in November. It's coming out in about three weeks. Um, 
the last Cyberpunk. Was supposed to, yeah, Cyberpunk was supposed to come out in April. It's now in September. Dying Light um, Two has no release date. The Last of Us Two, 2 has no release date. Um, the Last of Us Two was supposed to come out in February. It's now coming out in May. Look, look, uh, Bannerlord was supposed to come out in like 2014. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kentucky, Kentucky Route Zero, the episodic game that was supposed to take two years to release all its episodes, instead took seven. So, <laughs> um, my second biggest Kickstarter game, uh, which was uh, Camelot Unchained, is like six years into development, and now they're making another game. Yeah, because they apparently they need to make another game quickly so they have enough money to finish Camelot. It's like games are hard. <laughs> Games are really hard. hard to make. Uh, that that said, oh, uh, my honest opinion about Star Citizen's lack of sustainable game play loops is that yes, they are coming. Yeah, and quite frankly, until they arrive, which they will, but until they arrive, I'm just not going to play Star Citizen. Yeah, on a on a regular like, basis. On a regular and basis, dude, I, I, why well, play um, it? Myth, here's the thing too, is is they purposely like made it like projected the actual hardware needed um to be right around this time at cutting edge, which is why you need like a ten eighty or better pretty much to run Star Citizen decently. Um and so if it takes another five years for it to come out one, they're just going to make it look better because it's clearly done that 700 times yeah. since it started being made. And two, it doesn't matter when it comes out because whenever it does, if it takes that long and they take their time with it and make it good, whenever that comes out, it's going to hit. It it will be relevant if it hits well. Yep. So it, it, it doesn't matter when it comes out. Look at Minecraft. Like, it, like the things... Things don't get aged out because of their visuals. Minecraft so we'll spent have like to worry about that. Minecraft spent uh, how long in a beta? Yeah. Oh, so, years. So even years. if it takes that long to make the way that it is intended to be made, and no shortcuts are taken, it's made for real. All those systems are real, and it starts to work. Uh, then it doesn't matter. We've won. The um, other, the other key thing to remember is that. Uh, CIG are developing this and they are funded. Uh, Star Citizen is not going to have the same problems as something like Camelot and Chained because CIG no, honestly no. don't need to worry about money. Their money we keep fine. funding them. They're, they're one of the only Kickstarters that has con continued this you know, expansive amount of money. They've got the money to continue making it. So I don't see them releasing a product before it's done or nope. having to like quickly shunt something aside to make up for it i don't know oh by the way qu very quick funding note i'm not going to spend much time on this funding is going well for this year uh their year over year funding is now over 50 million dollars yep and uh yeah <clears throat> it's it's on the increase so yep. th there's no there's no indication that that's going to stop anytime soon so highest it's ever been if they if honestly if they take their time with it they they don't force crunch on their employees which we've confirmed from multiple sources that they, they do, do not. not yeah um but they do it anyway because they love it because that's how artists work um yeah. it, it'll be fine like it, like i'd rather them take their time with it make sure it's awesome before they even release it out because because like who cares the only people who actually care about when it comes out are people who are too excited for it and you need to go play other video games in the meantime there are a lot of other ones and, animal crossing um, um and two <laughs> the people who hate on the game both of those people need to chill out so yeah we we come and talk about it because we have fun doing it and it's fun to hang out with our friends and talk about mm -hmm. space um yeah but we're we're callous to it at this point. We understand it's going to take forever to come out, and that's cool. Whatever. My 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 Whatever. biggest thing is when Star Citizen comes out, Link might be old enough that I can like put him to bed and actually play Star Citizen because right now I don't get any time to play for anything. That's why I want to switch because I can just 
pick it up and put it down and pick it up and put it down. I don't have four hours to travel from a planet to its moon. <laughs> hey, it's getting better. I just they need to continue to make it better. <laughs> they need to continue yeah. to make it better. Um, Dude, like like if you told me if you told me in 2014 that one the game so the scope of it hasn't changed since probably about 2016 i would say as soon as right? they as soon as they added the the fully, tra fully traversable planets yeah yeah i would say the scope has not changed no because no. um so once they've decided that then all of it all of it now is just making it i don't think they've added anything else that they could have done that they weren't already kind of thinking about at the very least and more so, like, I would say the only other big feature that they kind of added to Star Citizen since then would be um, base building. And I think that was just them realizing they're making the tools and all they would have to do is make a UI to do it and then hand it to the players and then it's there. I think they were pretty certain as soon as the whole planets were accessible that they would have to put in player buildable stuff because they can't, pop they can't possibly populate a universe that large. Yeah, with like developer built things. Yeah. Also, wasn't, there's wasn't that like the theory behind it in Star Wars Galaxies as well. I yeah. believe so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, um, Star Wars Galaxies, that was an MMO. Good lord, before the change. Yes. Back when, back when it took you like a year to become a Jedi, and that's all you could do. Yep. Those were the days. Do we have any more questions? Uh, yeah, we do actually. Yes, we do. Sorry, that Before we that was that was a good question, Biff. Thank Thanks, you. Biff. Yeah. Uh, Nuskavian asks: Now that the Carrick is completed, that team is moving on to the Banu Merchantman next, aren't they? That was my recollection yes. from when they started. Yes. Yes. Which, uh, keep in mind, people the, are about to lose their minds when the Banu Merchantman comes yeah, out. Keep in mind, the Merchantman excited. is going to take a lot longer because uh, they already had. It's bizarre. An, it's bizarre. Well, they had Anvil Arc like Mora Anvil Architect. Shiver. Uh... <sighs> See, I have to deal with this for three hours this evening. It's gonna be boring. <laughs> <laughs> Come watch us, by the way. It'll be fun. You should have been a comedian, Shiver. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen what they do to the Japanese comedians here? Jesus Christ, it's next to torture what they have to do. No, no, no. I've ne I've yet to see a Japanese comedian actually stand up and do his or her act or tell jokes. No, most of the time it's just, here, let's stick something up your bottom. No, let's just stick an electrical charge for you. Here, jump inside of this icy fucking water. How many people can you get on a one by one centimeter paddle in the middle of fucking Finland in the winter? <laughs> I love that what, what Jake got out of that was Japan is cool. <laughs> Japan, Japan is just another planet. It's awesome. It's awesome. Um, yeah, you're not wrong, uh, David. It's probably going to take... Like, I would say the, the Merchman might make it out by the end of the year. But it's going to be a long, long time. Well, they, they have um, to develop the whole uh, they, they have architectural they have language. They have one. They have yeah. the Defender. That's that was the true, reason they built the Defender first. I like the Defender. It's a cool ship. They got it. They've got to scale it up significantly, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Musky Elon asks, uh, "T O W. What's T O W? Theaters of War. Theaters of War. Oh, T O. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. Uh, acronyms, man. Acronyms are bad. Um. Oh God, did I? <laughs> T-O-W, I Which think... Is very ironic. Does this uh, mean that you're not going to use the word lasers anymore? I never say that lasers, actually. What do you say? I don't know. I just, it just it doesn't... stimulated emission of radiation guns. No, it just doesn't come up often in, in conversation. What you kind of crap conversations do you have? <laughs> yeah, right? What the hell? Well, they don't... I mean, they don't use lasers in any 
significant science fiction universes. That's a good point. Star Wars. Significant, I said. <laughs> oh. David, well, you like uh, Star Wars, don't you? I love it. I love it, Jake. I had to. Um, so so. The, the irony of this question, though, before we get into it, the irony of this question is Elon Musk is famous. And the person who asked this, is their username is Musky Elon. Elon Musk is famous for a quote he had. We wrote a whole email to his company about how you shouldn't use accurate acronym. <laughs> Uh, TOW, I think it's overhyped. That said, what do you uh, what do you think makes it appeal to a casual player, and what do you think would help make it great? Battlefield players will like it a lot. People who want, you know, a half hour dose of gameplay from Star Citizen and don't want four hours of dedicated what time for it. Was? Yeah. That's um, me quite often. In yeah. Fact. I, I think what will make it better is it has to be easy to get into a game. It can't yep. be like it can't be launch the the RSI launcher, then launch into Star Citizen itself, then launch into And you need you need rubber band mechanics as well. Yep. Um because especially with a long fight like that, it needs to be able to you need to be able to turn the tide at any points and win no matter how badly you're losing. I mean, it, it is actually going to be a game mm -hmm. rather than what we have at the moment, which is, you know, it is for testing rather yeah. than go and have fun. I'm I'm yeah, really I mean, excited for it. Sorry, go ahead, Nakar. No, no, I was just... I was a little bit surprised you said that, though, because, I mean, while they do want it to be easy to get into, you still will have to launch Star Citizen to get into it. I know, and I don't like that. I mean, it's what one click extra. That's it's the no loading. Different. That's no different. It loads super fast now. Depends on the person. Did you install it? Did you install it on a hard drive? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's I, on an M.2. Thank you very much. Yeah, don't put it on. Don't put, if if you're playing Star Citizen on a platter drive. Maybe don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I am not. Um, I, I think the most important thing for it, though, that, that they need to get right, and they probably need it to get it right, is just gunplay. They need the gunplay in Star Citizen to feel better than it does now, and uh, I think that... Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, in terms of it being overhyped, I don't... Really, I haven't heard a that much people hype on talking it. about it. No, yeah. no, I don't think it's it overhyped very much. I think that people are excited about it because they believe, rightly or wrongly, that they'll be able to play more Star Citizen once it's out more easily. Uh, Fastcart asks Is anyone surprised by the crowdfunding increase increasing at the rate it is? Because there are many old-time players like me and David who aren't buying ships. Um, so the huge crowdfunding increase coincided with their uh, them absolutely nailing uh, CitizenCon this year, in my opinion, anyway. Um, and in, I think, a lot of other people's opinions. Um, I just think they managed to combine both their constant flow of new players... Um, that they always have um, with a renewed enthusiasm from the other like 2 million players that exist or, you know, accounts or whatever you want to call them. And it just all happened at the same time. And there's a lot of people in the community now. So if they're able to generate any kind of sustained excitement from them, their funding is going to go up through the roof. It had been stable for a long time because they hadn't had like a really good event in a long time. So, um, if you look on the Reddit um, uh, for Star Citizen, there's always at least two or three people asking every week, is this game for me? Should I get into this game? Or just announcing, I'm into this game. And Reddit is just a fraction of the population of the internet. Yeah. So it's Streamers, getting out there still. There are still people who haven't day. even got an Aurora. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I at, interact at, with those people every day too. At yep. the same time, the, there's a lot of people that aren't buying ships and that's okay because 
They they we did like, our bit. We did our yeah exactly. They they're gonna we get gave more five pints of blood. <laughs> they're gonna get more at this point from new players than they, well, I mean. There are two bands of players that they're going to get something from. The whales that will buy 19 of every ship when it comes out. <laughs> and new folk. And new folk are better. The, the Aurora is still the number one selling ship in the game, right? Like, a million, a million hits of $50 is better than 10 at 10,000. A Yeah. Yeah. So... Yep. Uh, where are we? Myth asks another one. What do you expect a base building game loop to be like at all stages? For example, working towards getting a base, finally getting the base, and how you would want to maintenance of the base to be like? Uh, I'd imagine... Very, very good question. I think this is a great question. It is. I'd, I'd imagine that at the beginning, the base building mechanic would be a lot about just getting the money for... In the materials. The materials. Money and materials for the actual base components that you're going to plonk down. Um, building it? I don't know. Probably just choose your layout from a bunch of... Honestly, at, at, at least at the beginning, probably choose the layout that you want from a bunch of pre-done layouts and you get to put down your layout that you want. Um, kind of a cross between the way Fallout 4 did it and Factorio does it. Yeah. Yeah. Probably similar. Yeah. Yeah. Um sorry, are you are you done? Well and then uh, I was I'm, I was just gonna say like uh, long David <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say long term. Um honestly I'm hoping for them to when they finally get to things like farming, uh that being able to create your little base and then have a little farm and have a little chem like kind of do what you can do on the endeavor at a lesser scale on the planet done i'm just you can, you can have your you now with this little bit of homesteading a little bit of land on this planet that's basically on fire with a banjo going warm today yeah it's gonna be warm tomorrow <laughs> well i mean i can imagine people setting up outposts that are um med bays. like they run a medic station out of their out of their homestead oh, yeah. and people can can end up respawning at that location. Like yeah, this is the closest, this is the, you know, the closest respawn location to the asteroid field in this system. People that die there are going to want to respawn, at, you know, stuff like Nearby. that. Yeah. Yep. And if you can build like ship spawning uh, locations and stuff too, that would be amazing. You could like build a, you know, right over there, ship. I saw you chuckle. What Harrick photo said got me. That was good. Uh, okay. Um, so <laughs> I, I wanted to just mention that I, I think in terms of maintenance, um, I think that they should make the maintenance of a base just like, not exactly the same, but similar to what they do, what they're going to do with chip components. So as you use the operational parts of a base, they should wear down and you need to fix them and replace them. Um, so like for a mining um, installation, you should have to replace the parts for the mining and, you know, like that. Um, I have to say that when um, David was uh, discussing his little farm there, I had this vision of him having this little farm, little little farm and, you know, a few buildings and everything. And then in the background, like 500 meters away, is his endeavor just landed on the planet in this <laughs> gigantic endeavor, this little house. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Probably, yeah. It's like it's like Thanos in his capital ship with his little tiny little hut that he has yeah. by the lake. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Oh yeah, um, I'm I'm totally, you know, living it rough and <laughs> Uh Jake, anything from you? Uh I I don't want it to be like too too like in depth, I guess. I want it to be something very simple that I can do regularly, like come back to in terms of like using the base. Uh huh. Um, because the game's about space travel and stuff like that. But like basically, a base would give you some level of passive economy, in addition to your main e economy that kind of goes alongside it. You know. Um. Yeah. 
I agree with everything else too. Um, I think this part of the game, like building things for players, will be a big, um, uh, long term will be a very big growth in terms of the gameplay. Yeah. Um, I think that players will eventually, either sooner or, or later, be able to build things like space stations. Um, because they built everything on this modular basis, um, I think that it's fairly, fairly, not extremely, but fairly, uh, fairly. simple to, to turn that into a gameplay system for players. Um, and uh, so I think... I think... Idea, myth. I, I think uh, oh, what did Miss say? What's... Yeah. Exactly yeah, this. He, he, yeah. He wants, and I think it would even happen, he wants to see some real estate type stuff. Like if you really like a potential base spot, but it's expensive because the economy around it is strong, you can go in and start sabotaging factories in the area, which will lead to land not costing as much. Or you could settle in cheap spot, make the economy around it boom, and then sell the land. And I'm pretty sure that that sort of thing is yep. going to happen. Yep. Yeah. Because yep. even that's though it's like, a player-based economy, it is Wait. a dynamic economy. So well, and they, and they talked about it. your your stake your land stake actually counts in the ground underneath so if you stake land on a valuable mineral spot then your land is more valuable but then if you end up mining the hell out and it's gone then your land is less like there's some valuation in there already so i'd, I'd imagine they'll go further as well um honestly <laughs> that whole thing that myth said just like it just sounded like Tony Zerovex. So I'm like, yeah, yeah that's, probably, yeah, that's probably where they're going. Yeah. Hey, myth. <laughs> it's the man, the myth himself, around, Tony Zerovex. I like your, I like, I like how, where your head's at. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, it is. It's Tony. We've got Tony Z in the show, everyone. Oh, uh, ah. it's just Tony Z. Got oh it. man, I could see it. What I, what I wouldn't give for that. Oh. Um. Two more questions. We'd have to book like six hours. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. have, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I do that. I do that. You know. You know. You know. You know. <laughs> there he is. Oh, uh, we got two questions left and three minutes left. Let's do it. Uh, Fastcart asks: Speaking of acronyms, whatever happened to the field upgrade kits? <laughs> Didn't they become battle upgrade kits? Otherwise, <laughs> fuck if I know. <laughs> <laughs> Well done. Well done. Uh, Ops Chief asks, uh, shouldn't concierge <laughs> and chairman's club members get something in the likes of subscribers considering that they've put in more money compared to 10 or 20 bucks a month? You kind of do. You, you do. get perks all the time. Yeah. yeah. There's free cosmetics. What, just you for get. being concierge? Yeah. Really? There's like, there's, yeah, like the, um, the, the, gold the top hat and rifle, the monocle and stuff. And that was concierge. Yeah. They do. It's already what a are you perk, talking about? Though, is it? Yeah, it's no, but it's, more it's... Of a, shoot me, I'm a rich bastard. Yeah. <laughs> and and when and whenever the PTU opens up, like they they open it up to concierge and subscribers first. Yeah. And also uh, at any events, it's always concierge slash, slash subscribers. Yeah. If there's yeah. anything special. Hundred percent. What was the um? Don't like really insane i mean people with too much money have <laughs> or get some special the high mile um or mile hike what club what's that hike. gorgeous ship called oh oh the is that the lightning oh yeah the the lightning. Lightning. yeah, yeah they the, only get like that's... a solid gold plate one or something the the grand admirals do or whatever they're called <laughs> the grand admirals you, spend, you have to spend like 10 grand or something yeah. Oh my god! I mean, I'm halfway yeah, there. Yeah, FA. Thank you, Ops Chief. Yeah, but but totally. I, I, no, they, they do. But yeah, I, I, I mean, he he's not. I I can see oh his god. point as well because I mean, if you're just concierge but not a subscriber, you have put in shit loads of money. Yeah. So, but yeah, okay, it, that's one, that's one of those tough ones that all companies face. Of you know, well, we need to attract more customers, but we don't want to neglect customers who have put literally thousands in right mm. billing and subscription four thousand five hundred and twenty nine dollars and sixty five cents us i've put in more money than you i'm at about 
I'm a little over half of what you've put in, David. I stopped. <clears throat> oh, I stopped a long time ago. Um, <laughs> Jake. Jake's just having a death, like... <laughs> yeah, right. I've put in yeah, too much money. Yeah, I, have, I haven't Jake's looked at like that a... number in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> soon. I stopped looking when it said 5,500, and I was like, no, don't want to know anymore. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um... You do right? have another question. Do we? Uh, yep. Hail Tony Z says, or asks, uh, thoughts on the hexagonal billiard table in the Carrick? Better I'm be playable. Sure, very much excited to try and do play on that thing. Yeah. I just want to see them make it playable. Pool. I'm yeah. absolutely amazing at pool. I can hit those balls all night and not lose a single one in those damn holes. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for us, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Shiver, anything you'd like to announce? Uh, two hours time over on my Twitch channel. We're doing Star Trek Adventures with... or, or wherever Nakara is based in relativity to me. And a few other people, which will be fun. Or absolutely dire. God knows how well I've written this game. <laughs> uh, well, the last one is awesome, so... Anything what? from you? No. Didn't think so. Just, you know, asking. <laughs> no. <laughs> Follow, subscribe. There we go. All right. Thanks, There's everyone. There's going to be a new emote once Twitch approves it. Awesome. Thanks, everyone, for watching and hanging out. And, uh, hey, we'll see you in the verse. Bye. Live long and prosper. Uh...